welcome back this is part two and we are going to do the basic configuration the first instruction says change the device name from the default which is huawei to the individual names as seen on the topology if we come to the topology and you double click on one of the devices you realize that the, the name here is huawei the instruction says we should change it to the one names seen on the topology so we are going to rename them from the default huawei to their name so switch one we go into the system view right you go so you do system view inside the system view you type sys name then do switch sw1 right. so this will rename it to sw1 after that you see that here is now sw1 you do the same for switch two system view then you do sys name sw2 repeat the same process for all the other switches and the routers as well and then finally we do we do same for r3 the two sets for r1 which is the edge router of the other branch office do the following first of all secure the console interface with the username and a password the username should be your first name and password your index number password should be encrypted so we open r1 since we are going to authenticate with a username and a password we need to create that user into the the database of r1 All right so we go to aaa you know aaa protocol is used for authentication authorization and then um accountability right. so we enter the aaa protocol view by typing aaa then you do local user you type the name which is your first name right mine is Chrissy. then password cipher cipher means the password should be encrypted now we need to type in the password which is your index number so i'll just do one two three four five six okay and then info add a new user means the user has been added to the database so after creating the user inside the database, we need to tell the router that it should secure the the user interface console with with the AAA protocol, so that anyone who tries to access the device should would have to authenticate using his username and his password. So you go back to the system view by typing quit or just kill, and then you go into the user interface console zero we have only one console port so user interface console zero you realize that we are now in the user interface console view then you type um authentication mode sorry um authentication authentication mode aaa right it means we are telling the router to secure the user interface console with aaa protocol Anyone who tries to log in will need to authenticate with his username and his password. So we can you can go back to the user view, which is you can just type return. It takes you back to the user view. Then you quit. Quitting is like removing your laptop from the device. Right. Then you press any key to enter. You'll be asked to authenticate using your username, which is Chrissy. And then your password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Typing the password will not appear, but when you press enter, you'll be authenticated. J says set the idle timeout to two minutes thirty seconds. So the idle timeout on the user interface cons just tells you that after this specified amount of time, if there is no activity going on inside the console, just simply log out the user so that when he tries doing anything again, he would have to log in. So we go to the system view by typing system view. After that, we enter the user interface console. User interface console zero. Right. Then you do idle timeout. Idle timeout is two minutes thirty seconds. That's two thirty. Meaning after two minutes thirty seconds, the user will be logged out. And then we are done with DJ. The the next one says set the shell information to welcome engineer your name. You go back to the system view using Q, right? We quit and go back to the system view. And then we type header. 
shell information welcome engineer i'll just do dkb right that's it then we do set the login information to please enter your index number right. header login information please enter your index number then just set the the dates and time zone the time zone should be your last name so you go back to the user view you can you can only set the clock i mean the date and time in the user view so you go back to the user view then first of all we just display clock and you see the current time display clock it is telling us today is friday the time zone is china standard time utc minus eight that's uh cc about 1254 friday i'm watching yes so we are going to do clock time zone right then the name of the time zone which is your last name i'll do debra then uh we do add add we are adding zero to the utc time utc time is just like um gmt okay so then we do display clock now the time is correct 454 it is 454 on the laptop okay and uh, the date two is also correct so we are done with this one basically we are done with question five right uh, so now let's let's go let's log out of the user view and then try logging in again they will tell you please enter your index number which was the login header login information that we we set so you enter then you one two three four five six as password after that they will show you the the right welcome engineer dkb that was the the shell information that we set so the login information is displayed before you log in and then after you are you've been authenticated the shell information is displayed this will be that yes one last thing before we go uh we should from time to time you should be saving your configuration so that you don't lose it when probably your laptop crashes and it goes up in the user view you just do save right are you sure you want to continue yes you type y you press enter right it will take several minutes to save configuration file and then um it will save yes that's it for this part we will meet on the other side in part three thank you